Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi guys. Hey guys, it's Friday and that means it's Plant Chat it's Friday. Plant Chat Friday. Today we've got a really fun ground cover that we're gonna talk about. And to some people they might consider this plant invasive, but there are so many awesome properties of this plant that we feel like it'd be a great addition to any garden for specific reasons though. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful plant. So a juga, bugleweed, um, carpet no, bugle. It has like a ton of names. It, yeah, but we're today we're we're gonna cover Ajuga reptans. Yeah, Ajuga reptans. We've got it all over our front and backyard, and it's a it's definitely a spreading plant. So again, that's where that invasiveness comes in, right? Actually, the species name in Latin means creeping. Reptans means creeping. Yeah. So that's kind of fun to think about. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a creeper. Yeah. So, with all that, uh, let's get to it. All right, you guys, we're in the front yard in the front of our house, and we have a lot of ajuga out here. Yep. So what do we have here, Sean? So we've got ajuga reptans right here, bugleweed. Um, and so this is what it looks like out here in our landscape. It's pretty much spread throughout almost every part of our garden, um, front and backyard. And uh, before, when we had grass out here, where all the gravel and the raised beds are right now, uh, there was bugleweed even going out into the grass. And so, I mean, it was, it's, it basically it spreads and you, you might have to keep on top of it if you don't want it to get into certain areas of your garden, but really it adds so much. I mean, this color right now in our garden adds so much to it and it's just, it's beautiful. Um, and it just spreads on its own. We don't really have to do anything with it besides water the rest of the plants that are around it. And it's great because it's, uh, it's drought tolerant and it'll grow pretty much anywhere in any soil. It'll grow in full sun, full shade, part sun, part shade. It's a real versatile plant. So Sean, I think we should maybe move because we've yeah. got some birds over here that are a little upset. We, yeah. We're pretty sure there's a nest under this roadie Somewhere. right here. And they're, yeah, they're chirping at us. Oh, they're upset. We, we don't want to. We don't want to freak them out. Yeah, so, so we'll find some more ajuga. Yeah, plenty to show. Actually, like you said already, but it's spreading all the way down along the side here where we have tons of bulbs coming up. It's just kind of everywhere. Here's a really big one, actually. Yeah. Look at this, Sean. I know. It's just a, it has those spikes of blue, purple, uh, and white flowers, and it, it just has so much use out in our garden. We love it. I know. I like this. Now, this is going to spread all over mm -hmm. this whole mass, and you know, we're okay with that right here. Yeah. It, it's filling in. It's a good weed control that we found in our landscape, um, and it spreads. Uh, you can see with some of its some of its stems here. Oh, you yeah, can let's see. Show them how it spreads. Yeah, so it spreads with these stems from the central mound over here, and it grows kind of in a rosette. But it shoots out these uh, these stems, and uh, these stems can root by themselves, but it also will spread by underground runners called stolons. Right. So we can't really find um, examples of the stolons on this, these underground uh, rooting structures. So we're gonna go somewhere else and show you those because um, this one doesn't have that. Okay, you guys, here's another patch of a juga, and actually there's one kind of starting back here. This one's kind of spreading all over and throughout the, that, now that's also another ground cover, vinca. That's kind of taking over that area. Those are those lance-shaped light green leaved plants and then the ajuga's got that darker uh that darker green right there with the blue or purplish flowers definitely kind of competing back there now we're going to be um, taking out this azalea and we'll we'll do that on a future video and tell you what that plant is but talking about ajuga we just love the color and the shape of the flowers the spiky flowers just add so much character and texture to this garden we really like and they don't ever get very tall they only get maybe six to nine inches tall maybe a foot in some gardens but not we haven't seen that in our garden with the cultivars that we have which sadly you guys we don't know exactly which kind we know that it, this is a juga reptans but we didn't plant this so we don't know exactly what kind it is but we love the color we love the fact that they attract all kinds of bees and actually hummingbirds and songbirds too they, they are a spring bloomer like sean said already and after the season you're you can deadhead them if you want to kind of tidy up a little bit but you don't have to but we usually do, just to kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, I always am hopeful that they'll rebloom in the fall, but that's kind of an ongoing experiment. We haven't seen that happen yet. Yeah, they do have that ability though. It's like, uh, yeah, definitely wanna, definitely hopeful for that. Um, this is cool. These are actually in the Lamiaceae family, which is known as the mint family. So that's kind of fun to think about. There's so many plants in that family. And this is a ground cover variety of, um, in that family. So again, full sun here, but behind us here, these are growing under the azalea. So it's a great understory plant. 
because you can see they're actually thriving and doing really well back there. I think there would be more of them if there wasn't so much vinca kind of shading them out. Oh, there's vinca flowers back there. Is that reblooming? Oh yeah, yep, reblooming. Look at that. Awesome. Huh. So guys, now we're still in the front of our house, but this is a different bed. You can see we've got our bugle weed here, our juga reptans, and we wanted to show you this area because it's an example of kind of how invasive it really can get. We've got com uh, some smaller companionly here. It's grown up through that. We've got some Shasta daisies. It's growing up through that too. And also it's growing up around and through our, uh, our crocosmia back here. So, I mean, it really spreads. We haven't controlled it yet really that much in this bed and we need to because we don't want them to overtake any of these other plants start shading them out competing for uh, nutrients and water and even sunlight so um, these plants will get higher they will grow taller than these uh, bugleweed but right now it's it's still invasive we don't want them growing within each other so we want to make things look nice and tidy we're going to keep them separated keep them away from growing into each other's crowns so a really cool thing is that so we're going to show you an example here if we can find one of one of these ajuga growing underneath the ground and so we can all see the above ground here but they have these underground stems maybe oh yeah there's one right there so basically it grows these stolons underneath the ground these underground roots and they spread they, that's how they spread throughout a garden or one of the ways they can oh we got a little oh, wormy guy careful of that guy so yep we woke him up but so yeah so this is what those underground stems look like so just be careful uh, when you're weeding if you don't want to rip these out uh, just uh, weed very lightly and uh, very uh, intentionally and then you can avoid ripping those out Okay. But otherwise, if you want to keep them under control and you want to uh, take away that invasiveness, you definitely want to rip that part out because it does have, you can see there's buds on here where it will grow new plants straight up from that stolen. So um, you want to remove those if you're weeding and controlling it for its spread. So guys, we're in our backyard now. We wanted to show you a couple of examples of a juga or a bugle weed back here because we have a lot more shade and so we've got a couple down here that are in and around they've actually grown in and around our uh, big leaf uh, hydrangea here so here we go here's some here there's a little bit over here in the back and yeah, we can't really see that there you go and then there's some over here this has actually laid down it got so oh, big, how big that is. it got so large and it stretched because it's in uh, shade more than likely and we water the heck out of these hydrangeas that it just lay down from the weight and then it now it's starting to regrow coming up wow, so that's pretty cool that. to see but this is a really good example of how versatile this plant is uh, with uh, growing in either in full sun or part or full shade it's very uh, versatile that way also we didn't mention to you yet it'll grow in zones three through nine so right there in that temperature range and those climates very versatile, grows in a lot of different places. So really cool. Okay, you guys, we wanted to show you another area. It's full shade. We're gonna come up this hillside here that we haven't, uh, some of this is, if you've been watching our videos, we call this the wild side of our yard because it's, it's kind of untamed, a lot of natural native stuff going on up here. So that's kind of cool. But we found a juga up here that we didn't even know was here. So you can see the little yep. little pops of purple. All we only over. noticed it was up here when it started flowering. We saw some blue up here, some purple. I know, look at that. It's kind of mixed in with, what is that? Some salal maybe? Yep. We've salal got some trillium. And, yeah, and we got some blackberry growing oh, here we too. we do have blackberry. Yep, I know you guys, we gotta, we've got some some old roadies up here too that we're, um, we need to prune back a little bit. Yep, yep, they've got some old limbs from this fir tree that are sitting on them. Yeah, we got some work to do up here. But what's cool is that this gets almost full shade up here, wouldn't you say? Yeah, maybe, pretty close. Does it even get maybe an hour of sunlight? Maybe if that. So this is a great, the Juga is a great option for full shade, especially if you, you're looking for color and something that attracts pollinators. Um, I would love to see it kind of take over and roll down this hillside a little bit. Yep, me too. I think that'd be really beautiful. Yep, that's one of the great uses of it too, is for hillsides and uh, controlling hillside and erosion. Um, oh, yeah. if need be. Yeah, you guys, uh, you can take bugleweed, you can use a juga in a lot of different situations yeah. in your garden for hillsides to control erosion, mass plantings, along borders, definitely uh, good weed control, so in a ground cover. Yeah, it really forms like that carpet, almost a mm -hmm. mat of just like interconnected, you know, just vines and it's just, it really spreads. 
So I, I would love to see us take some of the bugle weed out of the front yard and maybe plant it on this slope. Yeah, and we got enough of it. See if we can kind of get it started. That'd cool. be cool. Yeah. So guys, that's bugle weed yeah. in a nutshell. And it's great. It's just a beautiful, versatile plant. And so we hope you learned a lot and uh, you can apply it out in your garden. Yeah, varying levels of maintenance, right? Depending on what you want to use it for. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so guys, if you want to know more just about plants and their needs, uh, their basic needs, and uh, how to apply that out in your garden and a lot more, you should go check out our new book uh, available on Amazon right now. And uh, it's called uh, First Time Gardener, Growing Plants and Flowers. There's so much information in it. And uh, we hope uh, you can learn more and just help you to become a better gardener. You can find it on Amazon or wherever you buy books. And we've been um, so excited that this is out finally and yeah. it's, it's ready for you to read. And, and we're just thrilled to be able to offer this to you. So go ahead and go check it out. Link will be down below. And uh, if you have any comments or questions or want to know more about Ajuga, uh, at least in our yard, go ahead and leave your comments down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest garden care videos. And thank you for being here, everybody, and for watching. We really appreciate it. And we would love for you to join us live tomorrow morning. At, at We had to change our time for tomorrow, so it's going to be at 8 a.m. Pacific yep. Standard Time instead of the usual 9 a.m. Yep. Change your alarms. Just for this week, we'll be at 9 a.m. every week after. It's our Saturday morning live garden chat, and we are talking about flowering herbs tomorrow. All right. So we'd love for you to join us. Click the link and join on it. Join in and let us know you're there in the chat. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time. See you next time, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.